my congratulations enjoy your journey standing but leave right after dinner remove their shoes extremely impolite in reality they don't is this true my norwegian friends hello he is looking at your shoes it's a big no-no shall we continue 10 more things you should never do in norway part two Hi, hi guys, my name is Anna and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Would you like to go hiking with me today? It's Sunday again and what we usually do on Sunday? Yes, we are going hiking. Hiking? It's great! All together, let's go! Today I'm going to give you 10 more things what you should never do in Norway. And some of those things are based on your comment, guys, you left after my previous video. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your effort a lot. Thank you so much. I'm sure after you watch and learn those 10 rules, you will be always welcome in Norwegian society. Let's start with one of the best known jokes, which describes that shy Norwegian nature. How can you tell an extrovert Norwegian? Well, he is looking at your shoes, not at his own. Is this true, my Norwegian friends? Please smash the like button if you find this joke realistic. Keeping this in mind, let's dive in. Number one, I bet it's going to be your favorite. Never sit next to anyone on the bus and even on the train. Only if you have the exact number clearly written on your ticket, which was previously reserved. And still, you better don't sit next to anyone on the train and never ever sit next to anyone on the bus. Remember, Norwegians are not on the bus to socialize. Well, nobody actually is, but Norwegians tend to take it much further than other cultures. While you can get away with talking to your seatmate in any other country in Norway, it's a big no-no. <laughs> it's considered as invasion of privacy. So when you get in and out of the bus here, you better use non-verbal signals only. And if you see that somebody is already sitting there and there are no fully available seats around, just find a nice place next to the window and enjoy your journey standing. Second, do not initiate any small talk, especially with strangers, especially on the bus. Hello! The Norwegians are not social people, and any social situation makes them feel uncomfortable. But this is because social situations require small talk, an alarming prospect for any Norwegian. <laughs> My advice here, guys, if you need any help, ask for help right away. Most probably it will be provided. But don't start the conversation from discussing the weather and the plans for the weekend. Number three, never eat with your hands in Norway. When it comes to dining, Norwegians hardly eat with their hands. Even sandwiches are eaten with utensils. And the same about muffins and skolibrot in a coffee shop. Make sure you using utensils to eat them. Back to dinners. Dinners in Norway are usually long and enjoyable time. So if you want to be considered to be rice in a pack of wolf, leave right after dinner. It is normal in Norway to stay behind and help the host to clean up after dinner. Do you already feel like you are half Norwegian? Don't forget to smash that like button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it will show the algorithm that this video is actually cool. And consider subscribing to my channel for more travel tricks and hints. Next, never drink and drive in Norway. It might seem like overstating the obvious because drink driving is illegal in any country, but Norway enforces really strict laws for drunk drivers. A glass of beer or a small glass of wine can put you over the limit, which can result in a small fortune in fines or even prison. Number five, 
you don't need to tip in the restaurants in Norway. Yes, you don't need to tip in the restaurants here. Like a service charge is already included in your bill. It's a normal practice to round up your bill to the next even 10 or 5. For example, if your bill is 37.5, it's okay to pay 40 kroner. 10% tip is considered to be really generous, but if you're paying 15% tip or more, you're showing off, my friend. Okay, now you're just showing off. <laughs> Number six, don't try to haggle in Norway. It's pointless. Every item has a fixed price tag. So unless the item is damaged, trying to bargain over the price with a vendor will only get a puzzled look. What? 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 So you better keep your haggling skills for a second-hand car salesman. <laughs> Number seven, never wear shoes indoors in Norway. When you make a few friends while you travel in Norway, chances are quite high that one day you will be invited over for a visit. Norwegians tend to remove their shoes before entering the house. So you better wear clean socks with no holes. Of course, you can keep your shoes on if the host offers to do so, but I would rather not. Number eight, never complain in Norway. Norwegians just never complain. They will tell you that actually they do, but believe me, in reality, they don't. In Norway, you are defined by what you do. Luckily, the rule of equality states like all people are equal, all jobs are equal too. If you complain to your Norwegian friend that you are not happy with your boss, they will advise you to change your job. If you complain about your hotel room, how awful was dinner last night, how tiring, unpleasant and exhausting your travel was, well, my congratulations, you will win a reputation of a grumpy person, not a Norwegian friend. Number nine, never raise your voice in Norway. Maybe only if you are filming your vlogs on GoPro and putting your camera far away from you and you didn't manage to get a mic. By the way, guys, many of you asked what filming gear I'm using to film my vlogs. I'm using action camera GoPro for now and it's original remote. Both things are equally important. So I will drop you both links down below in the description. they are affiliate links. And if you're choosing your action camera for this summer, GoPro will be a perfect solution for you. If you have any questions about my gear, ask me in the comments below. I will be happy to help you. I cannot tell you the exact reason why Norwegians never raise their voices. If you know, please drop me a comment below. For one year of living here, I've never heard any Norwegian screaming. Well, maybe Norway is one of the most peaceful countries in the world and Norwegians just trying their best to avoid any conflict situation. Or because Norwegians, they're just too busy with boxing skis, packing their lunches and also making improvements for their mountain huts. Those activities are so time consuming, so what's the point to waste your energy on fights? If a man makes a scene in a cafe, all the customers will make three assumptions. First, he must be a foreigner. Second, he is temporary unhinged. Third, both. He is just a foreigner who is temporary unhinged. And everyone will stay quiet and ignore him until he shuts up or goes away. Number 10. Never interrupt people when they speak. It seems like I found a new studio in the middle of the forest. Okay, number 10. Never interrupt people when they speak. I know, in some cultures like in Italy or Spain, it's okay to start responding before the person in front of you finished his speech. Guys, it is considered rude in Norway and extremely impolite. When you speak to your Norwegian friends or colleagues, let them speak first, then pause, give some time, and after that you can respond. This is the best way to communicate here. Just please, never talk to strangers on the bus. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video until then. Now you know 10 more rules of how to behave in Norway. And hopefully now, next time when you're coming to Norway, you will feel absolutely comfortable in Norwegian society. And welcome to Norway. Stay safe, be happy, and I will see you next week. Bye.